Good morning, today's lesson is 1.3. Today we're gonna to compare and order numbers. Our essential question, how can you compare and order numbers? Let's unlock the problem. Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona had 651,028 visitors in July 2008 and 665,188 visitors in July 2009. In which year did the park have more visitors during the month of July? So first, how many visitors were there in July of 2008? Well, there's 2008, so it's right here. So, so the answer is 6, 651,028. The next question asks, how many visitors were there in July of 2009? Well, that's right here, because there's my visitors in July. So it's going to be 665,000, remember the comma says 1,000, 188. So let's example number one. Use the place value chart. You can use a place value chart to line up the digits by place value. Line up the ones with the ones and the tens with the tens and so on. Compare the two numbers. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I have my ones is eight. Oops. My ones in the first number is eight. Then I have my tens, which is two. And then there's no hundreds in this number. And then I have one one thousand, and then I have five ten thousands, and I have one or I have six hundred thousands. So let's do this next number. I have eight in the ones place, another eight in the tens place, one in the one hundreds place, five in the one thousands, six in the ten thousands, and six in the hundred thousands. So if I start at the left and I compare the digits in each place value position until the digits differ. So here's the left, I have 600 thousands and another 600 thousands. So those are the same. So their 600 thousands are equal to the other 600 thousands, right? All right, step two. Now we're gonna compare the 10 thousands place. So here's my 10 thousands place. There's five 10 thousands and there's six 10 thousands in this number. So the one with five 10 thousands is going to be less than the one with, than the one, whoops, with, six thousand ten thousands so five ten thousands is less than six ten thousands so six hundred and fifty one thousand twenty eight is going to be less than six hundred sixty five thousand one hundred and eighty eight so another way to do this is like an example too you can use a number line to order ten thousand four hundred and eight and ten thousand four hundred thirty three and 10,416 from least to greatest. So first we're gonna locate and label each point on the number line. The first one is done for you. So we have 10,408. So right there's my, my, my decimal or my point. So this one is done. So now we're gonna do 10,433. So 10,400, so there's 10,400 and 40, so, and this is 10,430, so it's gonna be in between. So if this is 30, this is 31, 32, 33. So my point is gonna go right here. The next number I'm looking for is 10,416. So 10,410, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So my decimal is gonna go right there, or my dot's gonna go right there. 10,416. So if I'm ordering them from least to greatest, this is the part you really need to pay attention to, least to greatest, that means from smallest number to big, biggest number. So my numbers are going to go this number, then this number, then this number. And as you can see, I wrote they got written here with a little carrots saying less than on this side. All right, let's share and show. So now we're gonna compare 15,327 and 15,341. And we're gonna write um, less than, greater than, or equal sign to, and we're gonna use the number line to help. So first, 15,327. So if I'm gonna mark that, I'm gonna go 15,000, there's 300, 310, 320, and 330. So I know it's gonna be in between these. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So right there's gonna be this first number. I'm just gonna put it like that, so I'll try to rewrite it. The next one is 15,341. So 341, so this is 340, so this is gonna be 41. So which number is bigger? Well, this number comes after the number line, so it's gonna be the bigger number, right? 
So I'm going to put my but, um, less than sign because this number is less than this number. And this number is greater than that number. So now we're going to compare these. So honestly, I would just look. 6 and 6 is the same. 3 and 4 are different. Oops, it's not letting me underline that. But 3 and 4 are different. The 3 is smaller, so this is the smaller number. I'm going to look on this one. 7 and 6. <clears throat> the 6 is smaller, so it's going to go this way. I'm going to look over here. I've got 5 and 5, so now I go to the next one. 6 and 2. Well, the 6 is bigger, so I'm going to eat it this way, right? Because you're always want to chomp on the one that's bigger. And the next one, well, this one's pretty easy because this one is only 98,000 and this one's 100,000, so it has one more place value, so you know it's going to be bigger. Now I can put these in a number line to order them from greatest to least, or I can just look. What's my biggest number? Well, they start with, this one starts with a 2, a 2, and a 2, so that's all the same. This one starts with a 0, a 1, and a 2, so we know that the this one is going to be the bigger number because it has a 1 and the other ones have a 0. So 2, 1, 21,150. So then my next number, I've already looked at these, so now I'm looking at the 6, and over here I'm looking at the 8. Well, 8 is bigger than 6, so this next number is going to be bigger. 20,890, and then I would do my last number, 20,650. Okay, you're going to do the rest on your own, but just remember that on these problems right here, you are simply comparing, right? So I'm gonna look first at this number, then this number, they're the same. So I'm gonna to go to this number and this number. Well, the two is smaller, so this is gonna be the smaller side. And over here, you're gonna order from least to greatest. So make sure you're looking at that, and it's not greatest to least. So you're looking for the smaller number. So you're gonna to have to compare these. Fours are all the same. One, one, and one. Well, if I'm going least, this one's a 1, a 1, and a 0, so I know this number is going to be first. Okay, and now, so that one's done. So now to figure out which one of these two numbers is going to go next. All right, you can do the rest on your own. I know you can. Um, you can also find me on the carpet, and I will be there to help you. Good luck.